in me to come to this team, to this country, um, and to apply my um, expertise in trying to improve the cricket here in Nepal. I'm very happy to be here, I'm very happy to accept the challenge, and I do so with both eyes open. Um, also to the press for um, coming along in such great numbers to support this, um, that is appreciated. And it just gives me another indication of the way in which this sport is regarded in the country. Um, Nepal is, um, or has got um, ODI status and it's our express aim to ensure that we retain that and improve the rating or the ranking as we go along. So um, I don't want to talk for too long, but um, also to say that uh, I'm looking forward very much to working with um, the boys here in Nepal, some of which I do know and quite a few I don't. But that won't take long once um, you know, I'm working with some of these guys to understand um, certain principles that will need to, to happen to ensure that we have a very healthy um, environment within the group for performance. So with all my knowledge that I've accumulated over the years uh, will surely be shared with that express purpose and that was to improve performance individually and from a team point of view. So uh, it starts for me today um, and the work will get more and more as we go along. And, uh, and from time to time we look forward very much to working with, with you people as well to ensure that uh, you're kept in the loop, you know what we're doing and uh, with a bit of luck, we'll support each other. Okay, I'm happy to answer any questions, uh, if you have any. Of, of, of challenging is still there. So that always excites me. And that was a, a motivational factor in, uh, in coming to Nepal. Um, you know, reaching um, a World Cup, um, senior World Cup level is, uh, is very difficult. A lot of countries are doing, are trying exactly what we're trying. So you know, it's a, it's as I said to you, it's a big challenge. Um, but uh, nevertheless, unless we dream, unless we really have um, aspirations to reach, you know, high levels, then it's never going to happen. But each day, one at a time, one week at a time, one game at a time. I know you've heard that before, um, but that's the way it has to be. And um, as long as the boys. Um, have a really good grasp of, uh, of doing it for each other and working for each other, uh, you've got a chance. You, I, I can't promise you win every game, but it, you know, there are certain things when you do, you give yourself a better chance of getting the right result. So last time you were here, you were here for a few days only. Uh, how did that uh, affect on your decision to come back to Nepal right now? Well, that, that wasn't uh, the whole reason, but it's nice to reflect back and to know that you walk into a ground and you're not seeing it for the first time. Um, you see some familiar faces and that's also a good thing. So uh, it was really good to, um, to have a little bit of experience over, it was more than a few days, I think it was a week or so. Uh, that was um, really enjoyable and now I have a chance, uh, you know, on a, on a full-time basis to work with the boys um, and to, you know, to, to get that enjoyment and, uh, and to see some results at the end of it. How close have you been following Nepal after returning back from here? And have you been following the Nepal squad before you had an interest in this stuff? Yeah, from time to time, for sure. And uh, then very recently, uh, about uh, nearly 12 months ago, you probably know I was, uh, had a small stint with Singapore uh, in a T20 tournament on the, I think it was the eastern uh, part of the the Asia qualifiers, uh, where we had, we did well, and Nepal was also in that uh, group, and uh, our game, which was the last one, was washed out. So we did we didn't play each other, but we certainly was there for many hours on the day. It was good to reunite with some of the boys, um, but uh, it really, um, you know, was a uh, was good to see them, and I've forgotten the question. <laughs> I want to say, uh, and ask, how close have you been following before? The oh, report? right, yeah. Yeah, not from time to time. I wouldn't say I've looked at the papers or the internet every day. 
Um, but certainly, um, you know, when I knew I was working with Singapore and Nepal was part of the group, then there was a little bit of digging up in history to have a look. Uh, certain matches that Nepal played and won makes you sit up and take notice like everyone else. So I wouldn't say every, you know, every week or whatever, but uh, there, were op there, were op there were instances when there was interest where you just dig a little bit deep and have a look. But, uh, that's like your 12th man. <laughs> I would assume that the, the noise and the crowd carry the team from time to time. So, um, you know, I've not witnessed it here before, but I've heard about it. Um, and I know that there is a big interest in the country. And for home matches, um, you know, no doubt there will be a lot of people supporting. And also I've seen evidence when Nepal's played away on television. And, uh, you know, there's ample evidence there's a lot of Nepalese around the world who come and support them as well. So, you know, support is there, particularly at home, when uh, that can really help you. To win games. We are, our, our, our focus is to um, look a little bit further down the track to ensure that, um, you know, the rankings can be improved if, if it's possible to do that. So, um, you know, we'll need a little bit of time, but um, our immediate goal, of course, is uh, the, the set of games in Oman, uh, which will be coming up, you know, fairly quickly. So um, we're well aware of that. But uh, it may, this answer may be the same as before, but it's, it's the way it is. It's, uh, that's what we need to do. No, CAN has a, a duly elected cricket board, um, and uh, they're back in the fold. Uh, it functions like every other country. Um, I'm sure the players will be happy that it's it's happened. ICC have welcomed uh, Nepal back, and uh, no, that shouldn't be a problem at all.